I can see loading into Cage 6. I can see Stag Beetlebox. Now, uh, Stag Beetlebot, this is a this is a story that you're going to love if you haven't heard it already, Evan. Uh, these are super fans of NHRL. They took the VIP tour like two, two times ago, two events ago, and they were so inspired. They met you up there in the pits, and they were like, we got to get off the couch and we got to build a robot, and they've done great. They've built a really pushy, fast, well-driven robot. It's got a teeny tiny weapon, but its main weapon is drive. I think you're really going to like uh, the performance of Stag Beetlebot and uh, its builder, Michael Cross. Right. I'm looking forward to this. Wow. I and love hearing builders' backgrounds. You know? Yeah. Even if you got guys like, you know, even one of our guys, Alex Pezza, who's like a chef who only needs a, a handsaw and a drill and I'll make you a robot. Or even like some zip ties. Yeah, who needs screws? Yeah. Absolutely yeah. amazing. And I believe that they are facing off against potentially Luma's Weed Whacker. Luma. All right, here we go. Stag Beetlebot there in purple. Now watch for the drive quality, Evan. I think that this is a Evan Arias-esque drive. Pretty aggressive and pretty good. Now remember, Stag Beetlebot, this is just their second event ever. So this is actually pretty good in for your second event ever. Now in their earlier fight, we saw Luma's Weed Whacker just its top it completely caved in. Look at that, that horizontal comeback to life. I would love to talk to them after this fight. Me too. I think if they, I see what they're trying to do, I can read them. They're so good. I love how they fight. Yeah. But right there, that's why I would just stay on them and just yeah. start pinning them. Don't let them spin up. Yeah. You have that weapon against the wall, can't spin. One, one, of, one of the things that I really like about your drive style specifically is that you stay so close to your opponents because um, if they turn and they make a mistake, you are right there. You're there to capitalize. Right, Here, there we like, go. I mean, you can see this. Like, this is, I mean, they're, driving is like a development process. You don't right. come out of the box like a great driver. Absolutely. I think a lot of people, they try and back up and reset, and they sometimes miss these really important moments, and they're not able to capitalize. Right. Because, I mean, you're also afraid of getting hit by the weapon. Like, why stay close to your opponent, right? You know? Yeah, and honestly, I like I like staying close because if I can't get a full spin up, neither can they. Right. You know, and sometimes you want not such a fast spin up instead of so instead of grinding, you're getting more of a bite and engagement. Right. Although you're not gonna send them to the ceiling, but you're gonna send them to the wall. Which yeah. is just as great. Look at that. That's a good thing right go. there. Driving that horizontal straight into the rail. Michael Cross is uh, really kind of Finding his groove here in Cage Six. Yeah, you can see that they're definitely they're playing as they go along, and their game the game plan's changing. There we go. Yeah. And something like Luma's Weed Whacker, a robot like that, you know, got a great swing, great weapon. Yeah. You, know, you really got to be cautious, especially ooh, you got things like Look that. Look at this. Yeah, facing against the horizontal. I mean, the horizontal wants to eat wheels. It's already eaten one of Stag Beetlebot's wheels, and. Uh, partial wheel uh, as well so it's really two and a half wheels at this point on stag beetlebot bumping around inside of cage six and i'm gonna give it to stag beetlebot still landing another good pin that's pretty good the driver of uh Luma's weed whacker was actually a fan of ours when we first started yeah way back when uh, yeah no longer a fan evan oh Are they uh, anti shred it now uh, yeah right he's like i'm gonna beat you now <laughs> <laughs> But I give him a lot of credit. He's come a long way. Now look at this. Luma's Weed Whacker stuck up against the rail. I think Michael Cross could be winning this fight. I can see the count out happening there cage side. Stag Beetlebot is celebrating. I think that this is a win for Stag Beetlebot. Oh, yeah. Congratulations, wow. Michael. Absolutely amazing. 